microphone died. I think because Brand Brig had too much to say. All right, here we go. I think Brand Brig telling me that there's that he doesn't have anything to say broke the stream. Let's give gifts to all the people. What the fuck? Do, what, how much shit do you think we have, Jareen? You're the one who just said we didn't have enough crops. Thankfully, our ancestors never took thralls. The clan is not too happy with the way things have been going. We don't even have that many weapon themes. Of course we're treating the farmers better. There's more of them. Alright, what kind of gifts do we have to give here? Alright, listen. If the weapon thanes are pissed, we're gonna give them, like, half our goods. Okay? Devotees of the Cult of Yinkin, the god of Al Alinxes, have a, an offer to make you. We have noticed that the woods around your Tula are infested with many types of rodents, including a type which is very susceptible to spirits of disease. If you want to give us something in return, we can perform a ritual which will improve the hunting abilities of your Al Alinxes. They will kill these forest-dwelling rats, freeing you from the risk of disease. Alright, what does he have to say? Refuse <laughs> Brand Brig! Alinxes are disloyal. Ormoral was better was a better companion to Orlanth. Oh no. Is that his That's his fucking god! He's basing all this on his own religion! We gotta go with him though. Is he the oldest? Oh no, this guy's older than him. But I don't know, there's just something about Brand Briggs smile that just convinces me to do this. I'm gonna have to refuse that offer. They said we should not come crying to them when disease runs <laughs> give our people brain fever. Perfect. What does he have to say now? I think <laughs> All right, Brambrig! Let's, let's get a little large feast. Let's invite everybody over. Oh, it was a good feast. Nothing happened. What now? Another one? All right. They say that the turtles just suffered a punishing attack from the Telmori wolf people. Their enemies slew many turtle weapon things and took plenty of cattle and trade goods. Oh, well, I don't know why this is my problem. We're having a feast here. We're having a feast. A number of the clan's leading men approached the ring. Their leader, Borngold, that's a fucking great name, has a litany of complaints. Ever since Jodasan became chief, Borngold says, things have gone from bad to worse. Our friends, the Jinstali, tell jokes about us as part of their holy day ceremonies. They tell jokes at church? You know you're not in good favor with them. The green wings send curses that spoil our butter and make our bread taste like straw. Maybe you just have bad cooks. At home, things are no better. Legal cases start up again a week after Jodasan makes a judgment. It's time we had a new chief. Alright, it's the movement of truth. Brandbrig, what do we do? We cannot hold a uh, belching contest and the winner gets to be chief. Alright, I guess we're doing nothing. <laughs> the clan ring reaffirmed their support for Jodasan born gold. Uh... Reaffirm- wait, what? It said that Jodasan was not the only foolish person on the clan council, but hoped that the ring would eventually listen to reason. Alright, well... There we go. We might as well spend it all, since we'll have the same amount next year. Okay, good good idea. Let, let's, let's spend every, every last dime of magic that we have. Perfect. War. Spend some on mysteries, some herds, health. Quests. 32 babies born. 21 adults. 12 more people. Oh no, we we produced 866 and ate 1,014 bushels of food. We ate more food than we produced! 90 were lost due to spoilage. Perfect, man. Well, we did feast like four times that year. I'm just gonna go with what he says. <laughs> Fucking time! It's all he wants to do! It's all he cares about! Well, I can't I can't disagree with him. We have fine we have the finest looking women of any clan. Alright, let's do it. Get the neighbors over. The warriors of your clan come to complain. There are too few warriors now, says Orglandy. Or Oral Oral Gandhi? Oral Gandhi? Oh god. Uh, our patrols are stretched too thin. We cannot protect all of our lands, herds, and people. 
uh, and the other clans know it. Normally, we could train Carls to become weapon things, but none of the Carls are ready yet. We have to go outside the clan. Unless you find more warriors quickly, one of our foes will surely attack us. Brandbrig, you're the combat expert. What do we do? It won't take much to make weapon things happy, but ignoring them would be very bad. All right, build their morale with an inspirational poem, <laughs> or take on new warriors only as qualified candidates count come forward. He, he wants DJ both things. Baby he won't even D. give me an okay. answer. Thanks for the follow. Can I now finish this story? The real Dave Dog. Thank you for that seven months, my man. All right, let's give him an inspirational poem here. Judison composed an inspirational poem to strengthen their morale. The warriors could be heard repeating favorite verses. Holy shit, they love the poem. That's all it took. What next, Brain Break? I can't add to what's been said. <laughs> You're the only one I follow. What do I do? Oh, wait. We, I think we lost the member. Who's this lady? Who the fuck is this? Maybe she grew up. Wait, no. Jereen looks different. Did they change her portrait all of a sudden? Let's give gifts to all the people. Why is her face different? I think we have an infiltrator. I don't think this is the same woman. Alright, Brandbrig's not telling me to do anything. I'm gonna have to fend for myself here. What, let, let's see if there's a good... You know what? Which which god does he love so much? Yurimal? What does Yurimal do? The tricks, the trickster god. Fool, outlaw, and scapegoat, but also one of the seven lightbringers and a friend of Orland. He brings trouble to those around him. Well, I guess, you know, let, let, let's see how this goes. Let's bless our clan. Let's, let's sacrifice a lot. And he, and you, a you gave birth to 40 sheep even though she hadn't been pregnant. That's a lot of sheep for a single you, man. I don't see why we can't build a shrine to Euromol. <laughs> okay. He just cares about his own shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he just wants to have feasts, build shrines to his own god, and he doesn't give a shit about pressing matters. He's the perfect guy to be running this clan right now. I love it. We don't have many weapon things. Let's, let's train some. Let's recruit him. Poor farmers are weapon- Oh shit! There they are again! Hardened Coral finds a bunch of small trolls rooting about in the grain bins of his stead. These are capybaras, man. These are not trolls. They- I, look at them! They're capybara, man! These are furries! They've eaten some of the grain and have ruined more of it. You're familiar with these creatures from the old country. They're trollkin, the stunted and sometimes simple-minded offspring that most trolls are cursed- are, are cursed with. Alright. Trade them to an- I could cast magic on them to make them all look- look like tall, strong fighters. Alright, let's trade them. Which clan do you want to trade them to? Let's see. What, what, which clan did we steal from? They're known for their hatred of chaos. Well, they don't like our god, so let's trade them to them. We, we got more than we expected from them. Pretty good. This is pretty good. That's pretty nice. We have the finest looking young women of any clan. Do you have anything else to add other than that? <laughs> I guess that's it. Alright, I'm gonna have to ask her. We should dispense rings to the whole clan. Why would we do that? Why would we do that? You just want to give everything to other people. We need these things. What do we have here? I want to become friends with Turtle. Yeah, they 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 have a reliance for raiding. Let's let's send someone out there. Jereen, go on. Bring almost nobody with you. I I just don't want to hear about your fucking giving giving things away constantly. Okay, I I just don't want to hear it anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. What can we do now? Brandbrig. Jin Sully would give us pr a tribute if we asked. Let's see. How do we ask for, for tribute? How do we fortify? Oh shit. You know, let's, let's make everything. 
many goods do we have? 90? Let's spend all our goods. Let's make a, a wooden stockade. No, let's make a st Oh, that's too expensive. Let's make a watchtower. Perfect. Your emissary, Jareen, approaches the turtles to demand a payment from them. Oh, shit! How does she make this demand? Oh, shit! I, 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 wanted, I wanted an emissary to be sent for diplomacy, not... I don't want you to demand anything. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I don't need to tell you what it will happen if you fail to meet our demands. What tribute do you demand? 60 cows, 90 food, and 60 goods, please. Their chief, Aslandar, refuses Jareen's demands. Theft is no more honorable when the demands are spoken in veiled terms. Aslander scowled. Your weasel words offend me, and I will take my chances against your warriors. Oh my god. Alright, this guy doesn't look good. This guy don't look good at all. Four weeks ago, Daryl, a sour... Oh, I think we ha we've had this happen the last time we played this. His family mourned and buried him. Okay, he's still alive. Brandbrig, how do we deal with it? Have... Have Branbrig get rid of him with trickster magic. That sounds good to me. Branbrig had the clan prepare its finest dishes and laid them in a trail from Darold's grave to a cave in the hills. When the hungry corpse gobbled the food all the way to the cave, Branbrig sprang out and with the help of some burly farmers rolled a boulder across the entrance. Darold was trapped within... Perfect, man. Oh no, not the duck people again. Alright, so we found a, a farm of duck people. Why don't you surrender? He just, he just wants to attack them. Let's do it. Alright, we're gonna raid them with everything. Everything we have. We're gonna fuck these ducks up. Alright. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna maneuver. Let's take captives, man. Try take captives and sacrifice them all. I think that's a pretty good idea. We outmaneuvered the cabbage ducks and gained a superior position. There was a bloody battle. Our magic blew away theirs. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take any captives. We took 18 cows worth of loot. Through their healing magics, our auxiliaries kept five warriors from dying and banished 10 of the wounded. Oh my god, man. We killed... How many? We killed 35 of the ducks, and we were completely fine. Our herders report that when the warriors were away raiding that... Oh shit! They took cows back! Oh, no. How many cows do we have? Oh, we're fine! They How many cows did they take? 10? Or 11? We've got 400 cows! We're fine! Let them have them! If they're so poor they need those cows, that's fine by me. Alright, Brain Break. He has nothing to add. That's not good. Alright. Let's see here. I think we should attack that clan that said they wouldn't give us everything they had. Which ones were they? Yeah, the <laughs> They're weird duck people who live nearby. Which guy was the one? Nothing prowess. They're the ones that hated chaos. I remember that part. Skilled cooks. Horses. Oh, we can't even attack the right guys. Oh, we got some alliances too. Perfect. They're known for the fertility of their fields. Who's you know what? Let's let's attack the ducks again. Fuck it. Let's raid them. The feared refused to muster. They said that they they had to take in the grain and make sure there was enough fodder to winter. Fuck! This year's harvest was as we expected, but because we raided during Earth season, we were short-handed and couldn't take full advantage of it. Also, the sacred time ritual- oh no. That's not good. <laughs> Everything's going wrong! A wooden stockade would help protect our wealth if we're attacked. Alright, let's do it. Wooden stockade sounds good to me. Let's do it. Oh my god, who's this guy? Three great Orlanthi wind lords. <laughs> wind lords?! Our holy warriors came to Yertula. They retell famous stories of Orlanth the Adventurer. They delight the children with a display of the magical flying abilities that Orlanth granted them. Then they ask the ring for help with a secret mission. The nature of our quest is so terrible that we dare not describe it. We need warriors, silver cows, or a gift of magical power. How can you help us? Alright, let's ask the man. Politely refused them. 
All right. I'm gonna ask someone else. I'm gonna ask the older man. Oh, he, he gives me three options. Give them cows, give them silver. I'll give him silver, man. We'll give him 25 goods. They thanked us for our gift and departed. Perfect. What if they were just magicians? They had nothing to do with, with, with being wind lords. They were just good magicians. Let's read the hated Nemoldings. Okay! Let's do it. We're feuding with them. Yeah, let's fuck them up. You say raid, I say when. Are we... they, they, nobody wants to raid! No one wants to raid. Earthen ramparts would help protect our wealth. We don't have the money! We've spent everything on fortifications. We don't have the money. A ditch. Listen, Brand Brig. These are all very good suggestions, but we've spent everything on on your god and whatever other fortifications we've made. This isn't this isn't a good place to be. All right. Let's do a quick calibrate. I think that that'll get everybody feeling better. I managed to sneak around. Oh, hell yeah. 33 cows. I love it. Carl's from... Here they are again. Fucking trolls. Carl's from the Bayberry clan, to whom you sold the trollkin you found in your grain bins, returned demanding not only a refund of the three cows worth of goods they traded for them, but compensation of nine for the damage that they've done to Bayberry livestock and property since he sold them. He shouldn't have bought them! No money back guarantees. They're lying. Those are perfectly good trollkin, and they cause no harm. There we go. Perfect. We convinced them that uh, the legal precedents were on our side, although they were not happy to do so. They admitted that their fault that the fault was not ours. This troll ate all our shit. You sold us faulty trolls. In the middle of the death of death week, a gruesome delegation appears in your clan hall. These are the insubstantial spirits of your own dead warriors. You have shamed the clan. You have turned from the old ways. You will face nothing but doom and disaster until you act in a manner worthy of our ancestors. Well, let's, let's ask him about it. I've rolled dice 16 times and gotten snake eyes every single time. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I can't argue with that. Scold them for frightening their own people. They seemed chastened and admitted that they were not sure exactly what offenses we had committed against the heritage of our clan. He rolled dice and he was right. He rolled snake eyes 16 times in a fucking row. Branbrig is a god. Holy shit. He's the fucking best. What now? All right, we don't have the money for, for a bridge, Branbrig. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to make the season go. Our herders reported that the Nemolding stole 30 cows. Our shrine just fell apart. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him. Might as well spend it all. Alright, let's do some crops. I'm gonna save a little bit. Just to be safe. Health. And war. I think that's good. What does he want to do? I can't add to what's been said. Okay, great. That's very good. When can you... When can you build? Let's quest for him. Let's perform, uh... Let's see. Humacht. What do we need for this? Why, why can't we only perform certain ones? This quest can improve a tribe's mood. Let's do it. Fuck it. Everyone's so upset. The people have gathered their magic to help propel Randal Yar into the realms of the gods, although the Jinstali refused our request for assistance. In this quest, Orlanth found the Storm Tribe by gathering together his kin and allies. What benefit do you seek from this? Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh... Let's make, uh, let's improve our reputation here. Oh, shit. Randall Yar enters the realm of the gods where he begins to feel the restlessness of Orlanth because the Emperor is strong and denies Orlanth's proper place in the world. Ernalda tells Randall Yar that the Emperor's advantage over Orlanth is his tribe. If he is to challenge the Emperor, Randall Yar must also make a tribe. 
Randall Yar goes wandering, considering her words until doubting the doubting wheel rolls up. It tells Randall Yar not to make a try, but if you put yourself above all others, you will be just as bad as the Emperor. Alright, what do we I will catch you and my wife will make you into soup. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to say. He caught it and took it home to Arnalda, who cooked it up for soup, where it became small and silver. I have no fucking idea what's going on right now. I guess we're still questing. I wander again. Randall Yar wanders again until he finds Yinkin, who is head of the cat clan. Yinkin says, my clan is badly pressed by the plant tribe. There's fucking... There's fucking plants? There's living... Living plant people? Which fights us for our hunting ground. If you fight them and beat them, I will join your tribe. Alright, let's see. Let's fight both of them. Fuck it. He tore off the many feet of the rustling veins, which gave it sustenance. He blunted the many swords of sharpened green... Which gave it power. The plant tribe was defeated, and Yinkin said that his cat clan would join the storm tribe. Perfect, man. What the fuck is going here? What is going on here? There's little little dwarves. Randall Yar finds the Knowing God, who is head of the Marks on Bark Clan. That's a terrible name. Uh, the Knowing God is trapped inside the great <laughs> inside a great cube. It's just a little cage. He says that the Stone Tribe imprisoned him. All right, let's see what we do here. Uh, I'm gonna recite a poem to the cube. Uh, a poem about square things becoming around. <laughs> the poem causes the cube to crumble, and the Knowing God was freed. The Knowing God agreed to make the marks on Bark Clan part of the Storm Tribe. Perfect. There's a lot of there's a lot of quests here. Uh, he finds his unruly, violent brother Vandris, who heads the Hurt Everything Clan. <laughs> oh my God. Vandris wants to go fight Yinkin's cat clan. Yinkin scratched me and some of my essence leaked out onto the ground. I cannot allow attacks to go unavenged. Uh, let's see here. Yinkin is our brother. There we go. He may your, be your brother, but he is no brother of mine. Uh, let's see here. I challenge you to a contest of strength. Vandris accepted the challenge. The arm wrestled and Randall Yar won. You have been bested by me, so I'm obliged to do as you wish. Badger said, I will seek a foe other than Yinkin. Perfect, man. This is fucking... This is a really long quest. Uh... Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Alright, we're gonna fight every one of them. Call for peace with the night people. Perfect. I guess we did well. <laughs> I don't see why we can't build a shrine. Listen, we can't build a shrine because it's not available. I don't know what to tell you here. I've been trying to build a shrine forever. I'm, I'm trying my best. I think it's time for a feast. He just tells me how hot the women are. Let's have a feast. A little feast. No, let's just have a large feast. Fuck it. Just with ourselves. Rosakos, a fiend of the v Vermondi clan, comes to ask you for information about Hjord, chief of the Taraling clan. We intend to enter into negotiations with Hjord and hope that you know something about his personality so that we will be prepared for his parley with the Taralings. You owe us a favor, and we will consider your obligation discharged if you give us good information. Tell him what he thinks of him. What we think of him. Who knows anything about him? We don't know anything about Hjord. Fucking let's 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 say we know him all. You're the holy chief? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Very holy. Rostakos departed and thanked us for the information. Not long afterward, he returned to Mtula. Your words gave us insight to Hjord, and we used the insight to forge an alliance. Perfect, man. That's great. That's great. We did it. We're friends with him now. I guess that's great? I guess that's fantastic? Very nice. Oh my god, another feast. 
I can't deny this man. Kagrid is Cloud Rider, one of the three Orlanthi holy warriors returned. He said that the others had been slain while fighting chaos. He told us that our clan magic would now be stronger. Cool. Even ex if exploring doesn't always uncover treasures, it can keep bandits on the run. Thank you. <laughs> this all happened from a feast? <laughs> Great. I love it. Alright, let's, let's check it. The delegation from the Greenwing clan comes to your tool to propose a peace settlement. Life here is quite workable. There are enough Orlanthi to trade with, and plenty of good land for everyone to farm. Why not come to a responsible agreement and end our feudal fight? Who are these people? Are we are, are we actually fighting these people? I don't even remember these guys. Green Wing, which ones are they? Oh, we're feuding with them. Right, what does he want to say? Alright, he wants to make peace. That's that's very strange for Bran Brig. He, he doesn't want to kill them and take everything they have. They give you gifts worth of 24 cows. What do you offer them in return? Let's give them 24 back. <laughs> Let's just give the exact same amount. Leaders of the two clans could not resolve the long-simmering disputes between us. Oh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> Why would we give them more cows than they gave us? It doesn't make any sense. Bossicos, for some reason, is only in the tutorial stage, and then he goes away forever. I kept uh, I kept doing random uh, random uh, r rings like of, of people, and I never got him. And then he always came during the tutorial. A number of the clan's leading men approached the ring again. Their leader, okay, with Jadison still his chief. Uh, Kestald says this clan is headed downhill. Our friends, okay, didn't he? Did you say this last time? Dispute their allegations. What do I do? Our social spirits never answer me, and I talk to them all the time. Jonathan started explaining their decisions, but after he dr he was drowned out by laughter, then shouted down, he fell silent. Kestal repeated his complaints. With Jonathan as chief, this clan is the laughing stock of Dragon Pass. The spirits of our ancestors are slow to answer us. It's time we had a new chief. Who put you up to this? It's no secret that Njasi would make a far better chief than you. No, no, I'm not gonna. No, no, no. I'm gonna. Let's see here. I'm gonna remind them of their duty to follow chosen leaders. I'm gonna outlaw him. There we go. Perfect. And Jossie smiled mockingly and said, "You are the ones who will have to live with the mistake." A few weeks later, we learned that Jossie had been adopted as a thane of Jinstali. Cool. It's a thane now. I know. I wish Bostikos was just here, but we've got Brandbrig, which is pretty good. He's been he's been telling us to, to feast and build fortifications all the time, and then telling me how wonderful the women are <laughs> of our clan. Oh my god. What a guy. Here, listen. It's getting late, and I must eat. So I'm going to call it here for now. But I will be, I will be back tomorrow with some RP. I'm going to I'm going to queue early. And I'll probably try to RP around like five or six. It'll be good. Ugh. I'll either do Georgie or or Galpy, one or the other. We'll figure it out. It'll be pretty nice. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm sorry for the long hiatus, but I work a lot, and I'm gonna continue working a lot. So I'll stream when I can. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and remember the times we've had together in Russia and in Dragon Pass. Have a wonderful night. Goodbye.